What's up, everybody? This is Eric the Tech Preacher. So in 2021, if you come out with a flagship device, you got to have a high refresh rate, right? Everybody is always talking about 120 hertz refresh rates, 90 hertz refresh rates, 30 hertz refresh rates. And a lot of people say, I can see the difference when, I, when you have a higher refresh rate on your phone, when you're scrolling through your home screen and uh, playing games and stuff like that. Well, I got a plethora of devices up here. We got the new kid on the block, which is the Galaxy S21 Ultra, 120 hertz uh, refresh rate at 1440p. Now we already know that the, the Galaxy Z Fold 2 already had that, uh, 120 hertz at 1440p. Uh, and we got some other suspects up here. We got the Galaxy S20 FE. Uh, this device has 120 hertz. It's a 1080p plus display. Now we got the big boy. We have the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. It's 120 hertz at 1080p plus display. And you know what I found uh, and I went and grabbed my OnePlus 7 Pro. Uh, this device has a 90 hertz display at 1440p. Okay, all right. So, and I got the Galaxy Z Fold 2. Now, this is a strange one. The outer display is 60 hertz. The inner display is 120 hertz. And we go, I'm gonna show you guys this stuff. And, I got uh, the $1,000 uh, device right here, which is the LG Wing, $1,000. Now this phone right here has a 60 hertz display. So when we talk about high refresh rates and everything, how do you know? Can we test it? Well, of course we can. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the, the refresh tester, right? And in real time, so y'all guys can see in real time, the fluctuations in the refresh. Let's put them to the test. Sit back and relax. Get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric Beck with another video. So let's go on and test out the refresh rates on these devices. Now we know that the Samsung devices have what's called adaptive refresh rate. So even though you have it on the highest refresh rate, 120 Hertz and so forth and so on, it's adaptive. So if you're not touching the display to save battery life, it will drop the refresh rate down. Now on the OnePlus 7 Pro, it does not have adaptive refresh rate. So it will always, supposed to always stay on 90 frames per second, 90 Hertz. Now I have the LG wing here, which is $1,000 phone that has a 60 Hertz display. So one of the things I like to do, I like to do these tests a lot. So I've done these in the past. is I do a real time display tester, just to show you guys in real time, the fluctuations in the displays and what the devices is doing in real time. What you're seeing right now is what the devices does when you open up web pages and stuff like that. Now, as you can see, I'm not touching the devices, even though I have the Galaxy S21 on 120 Hertz and I got the Galaxy Note 20 on 120 Hertz. And it's, since I'm not touching the device, you see it's, it's running at 60 Hertz. Now, even though the uh, Galaxy S20 FE, again, adaptive, but it's staying at about 120 uh, FPS. It goes down, look like it went down to about 117 or so. All right, and it, here on the, the OnePlus 7 Pro, as you can see, it's 90 frames per second. You won't see no fluctuations there because it's not adaptive. And as you can see on the outer display on the Galaxy Z Fold 2, it's at 60 Hertz. And as you can see on the 60 hertz display and it's it's showing 30 frames per second by the way it's showing 30 frames it's supposed to be a 60 hertz display and it's, and it's showing 30 frames on the wing that's why it's dropping down to about 15 frames okay so when you move and touching the device now you're gonna start seeing it go up as you can see now it's going up as you can see all right going up that's already there it's that's already there okay let's see ah so here we go there we go. So maybe the LG device is adaptive. All right. So that's pretty cool. Just so you know. And so when you touch the device, boom, there it is. Right. All right. So let's open up the Galaxy Z Fold 2. As you can see, the Galaxy Z Fold 2 at 60 hertz on the cover display. But when you open it up, all right, when you open it up and there it goes. That is pretty neat, ain't it? 
this is pretty neat. I like this. So when you open it up, now it's it jumped to 120 hertz. This is this is awesome because even though the cover display is a 60 hertz panel, when you open it up, the inner display is 120 hertz. So again, when you're touching the device and and moving something around, it's gonna jump up to 120 hertz. Now, once you leave the device B, what's gonna happen is gonna drop down to 60 hertz to save battery life. So that's what's going on with the displays here on these devices. And there it goes, it's gonna go down to 60 hertz right there on the cover display. I like I like doing this test, it's pretty neat uh, because you get to see in real time how the device is performing. And this is the first time I'm doing this test with the LG Wing. So it looks like the LG Wing does have some fluctuations with its uh, hertz uh, frames per second. So it is dropping down to 30 frames per second when you're not interacting with the device. So that is new. And I, I mean, I, obviously we always talk about LG devices not letting you know what's going on with the devices. And this is one of the reasons why I got adaptive uh, F, uh, hertz going on. So here it is, 60 hertz display, and it's all the way down to 30 hertz. Listen, man, 30 hertz is really low. As you can see, the stuttering is going all the way down to 15 frames per second. So you do see some high level stuttering going on with the LG Wing uh, at 15 to 20 frames per second. But look like uh, the Galaxy uh, Fan Edition is not dropping all the way to 60 hertz. So let's go into the settings. Let's go into the settings and let's look at the display, okay? And right here, and there it goes, right? So here it is. I guess I stand correct here. This is not adaptive uh, device, okay? So listen, listen, look at it. I, I stand correct. Uh, the Galaxy S20 FE uh, is in the settings. It's not saying adaptive. So that means that that's why it's staying on 120 hertz. I stand correct. When I say that the Galaxy S20 FE had adaptive FPS, adaptive Hertz, it does not. It has, that's why it's not dropping. It's at 120 Hertz. So when you're using this app, even though it's saying, uh, you know, 118, uh, but in real time, it's, it's pretty much going up and down. It's going all the way down to 40, 30, 30 frames per second in real time. And it's going all the way up to about 120 frames per second. That is really neat here. And look, here's the thing. This is a non-scientific test. I'm not here to give you a gotcha moment or a ha ha moment. I'm just having fun showing you guys the refresh rate. That's all. There it is. Galaxy S20 Fan Edition. Galaxy S21 Ultra. Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. OnePlus 7 Pro. Ah, I got to make a video about this device. This device here is really nice. Uh, the Galaxy Z Fold 2 and, <laughs> wow, look at that. Look at the choppiness on that. <laughs> wow. All right, uh, the, the LG Wing. This is Eric the Tech Preacher. Just having some fun, man. That's all. Uh, leave your comments down below. Let me know if it is these videos that I've been making about high refresh rates and stuff like that interest to you. Let me know down in the comments below. See you guys on the next video. Peace.